And Linda McMahon uh, won the nomination last. Well, she did. Linda McMahon is now the Republican nominee. She's going to be running against... Um, She's a Republican? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. She's the Republican nominee for uh, the Senate. Right. Out of Connecticut. Imagine that she wins and then she tries to shut down wrestling in Connecticut. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. <laughs> that would be real. What the hell do you think you're doing? Uh, yeah, and she's going to be running probably against some guy named Foley. Oh, really? Yeah. Mick Foley? Mick Foley she's running. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to get back at Vince McMahon. Just uh, as Sam said, they're going to try to destroy two Foley's lives. <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, yeah, she's running well, against um Sam brought in some audio, Linda McMahon on Nightline. She had to deal with some tough questions about wrestlers dying and all that shit. Really? All the stuff we've brought they up. They grilled her about it? All the stuff that would make it a complicated campaign. Ooh. Yeah, because she, you know, she was in charge of uh, a company where a lot of young guys died. All right. We love the WWE, don't we? I am uh, very We have a lot of friends over there still. Seeing her answers. Huh? Interested in hearing her answers. All right. Well, uh, Linda tries to justify all of the wrestlers Sucks. who have died. <laughs> What's wrong, Jimmy? Nothing. Same thing. Same what? It's not writing. Can you? Oh, you're trying to actually write with it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Why don't you just use a regular pen? I know. I'm going to. How's that work out? Terrible. Oh, God. Look. Oh. Hi, how are you? Capital letters. Uh, here you go. Oh, God, nothing. Okay. Why isn't it coming up? Because it's shit. Can you do it with your finger? Yeah. Your finger works great. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> your, the stylus isn't working. It's too fat and long. and so It's like writing with the eraser. Yes, exactly. Here we go. This. All right. <laughs> Here we go. What? This is like writing with the eraser. And now, can you put that into text? It's, this is what shows up. <laughs> That's what showed up. Tech Hasafaeras Vintidi. <laughs> this fucking program blows. <laughs> <laughs> they just Epic <laughs> fail. They can't figure out that writing shit yet. Writing and computer. turning it into text? Yeah, they can't figure that Too out. Too many yet. variables on people's handwriting. Yeah. I don't mind it. I, I don't mind if it's just his writing. But how about it? it writes the way it's supposed to? This stylus is no good. Yeah. That's why you should print everything. I bet you would be a lot easier. I am printing. That's, that that's looked yes. like you were writing in No, cur I have in bad hand wow, yeah. you that have horrible like handwriting. You do have terrible handwriting. I thought that was cursive as right. well. This is not. Yeah, how, no, that thing isn't going to identify that as not. That looks like this is no. <laughs> Oh, and then it didn't the write. The words aren't oh, showing oh, up. Oh, no, it's not showing up. The, half the letters aren't showing but up. He has horrible penmanship. I would I love do. to beat up fucking the technology, but his yeah, penmanship is How hard do they want me to press? Horrible. Look, here you go. Penmanship. There, pen, man, ship. There we go. And a period, <laughs> dot, SHP. It came up as penne pasta. <laughs> Oh, Jimmy. Maybe that program's just not for you. I don't know what happened. <laughs> just a perfect penmanship. I don't know with a fucking fat, dry stylus. <laughs> <laughs> Can you throw the stylus away? No, I can't. It will hurt her feelings. Uh, so Jesus. now you're stuck using the stylus. I, I can't use it. Just so you don't it. hurt her feelings. Oh, that stuff sucks. Uh, All right, Linda McMahon on Nightline. What do you got on this, Sam? Big wrestling guy. Well, I just... Every time Linda McMahon comes up, you guys point out that they're dead wrestlers. Yeah, there's a lot of them. And that's what they pointed out on Nightline. All right, good. You see, one of their shrewdest moves was to admit that all of this is a show. By branding their wrestlers as performers instead of athletes, they avoided costly oversight and state licensing fees. They ducked any obligation to provide their wrestlers health care or pensions after their brutally short careers. And congressional investigations uncovered rampant steroid and drug abuse. Oh, One medical examiner calculates that pro wrestlers die at a rate seven times greater than the general public. Huh? Why do you think that is? Of those um, performers that were under contract to WWE, five of those premature deaths 
one died of an accident, Owen Hart, a tragic accident that we had here. Uh, and then we had, uh, you know, others who've died of natural causes. While they're in WWE, we absolutely have a health and wellness policy. I'll probably always say we, even though I've resigned as the CEO, it's kind of hard to break a 30-year habit. Once you testified that it wasn't cost-effective to test for steroids among your employees, do you have any regrets? There is a doctor that travels with each group, there are trainers with each group, and all of those measures are to, to create uh, an environment for to protect the health and uh, wellness of these individuals. Man, she's well, slick. She's basically yeah. trying to tell everybody that the wrestlers die after they leave the company. Exactly. <sighs> yeah, they're fine when they're there. And the other guys, it was natural causes. Yeah. Eddie Guerrero, Brian Pillman. But what they were doing when they were with the company led to huh? their premature deaths after they got kicked out of the company, yeah. Sam Roberts. The WWE cannot be held responsible for what individuals do once they leave the wow. company. Wow, but she is slick. Slick. She's got to be. Uh, her interview with Nightline continues here. But beyond the care of her employees, she also faces criticism on the content of their shows. Oh, yeah. Oh, the WWE has softened in recent months. No swearing or blood and less female skin now earns them a PG rating. But a group called Mothers Opposing McMahon, funded by Democrats, of points to old clips that would make a non-wrestling fan of any party cringe. They include the beating of a mentally challenged character. <laughs> that was Eugene. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I didn't defend that. They never said he was mentally challenged. They just said he was special. Right. Special, yeah, yeah. But they didn't actually, obviously he was mentally they're challenged. They're goofing right? on the retarded. Well, he wears jacket inside out to the ring every time. Oh, really? Yeah, he just couldn't get the jacket on. They include the beating of a mentally challenged character <laughs> and the repeated degradation and abuse of women. <laughs> the one that struck me was your daughter entering the ring as the crowd chants, slut, slut, <laughs> slut. As a mother, was there ever a time when oh. you were sort of creeped out by, the, by your own product? You know, Bill, you have to think about this, uh, WWE, as a soap opera. It was acting, and WWE has, uh, is the longest-running weekly episodic program in television. Uh, so, sure, there are storylines that are better than others. She's got some good people behind her helping her through these yeah, tough questions. Huh? Vinny Mac. Do you think Vinny Mac's like... helping her out? Yeah. You think she's going to be backed by people like Bam Bam Bigelow? Oh. Bam Bam Bigelow is deceased. Oh. Yeah. What about... Uh, but again, that was after he left the company. What about someone like the Big Boss Man? It's oh, probably going to be no. her security. Well, Big Boss Man could be her, her security if he hadn't died. Oh, boy. After oh. he left the company. Oh, oh, it was. He left yeah. the company. All right, well, died. you know who's a big guy that could probably head up her security team? Who's is that? the British Bulldog. Well, he was a big guy before he passed oh. away. What? After he left the company. Mr. Perfect? Is not alive. How, how, about, how is Mr. Perfect not alive? He's perfect. No, he had a, a heart attack oh. in his 40s. <laughs> so his heart wasn't you know quite what? perfect. After he left the company. I bet Eddie Guerrero oh. is going to really help her out during well, this uh, election. Eddie Guerrero is dead, and he died while he was still with the company. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, that's different. His wife is still in the company. His wife yeah. is still alive. How about, uh, are they going to use Earthquake for anything? No, he died. That was cancer, though. Oh, oh. Uh, that one. Yeah, got steroid induced uh, cancer. Mm. <laughs> well, well, we all know Chris Benoit can't really uh, help out much. He was he was crazy, but he was with the company at the time. Yeah. Well, I'll bring a lady on board, like uh, the fabulous uh, Moolah. <clears throat> no, she died. She was older, but she's dead. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. Hmm. How about uh, Yokozuma? Why don't we get Yokozuma? Oh, up I remember there? Yokozuma. What is he up to? Yeah. No, he's dead. He died. You know who could bring some sex appeal to the uh, campaign? Who's that? Ravishing Rick Rude. Why doesn't nice. she get Ravishing Rick Rude? Because Ravishing Rick Rude passed away after he left the company. Uh, at the age of what? He was in his 40s. <laughs> uh, all right. How, how about a little Heart diversity out on him. then? A little diversity by bringing the junkyard dog uh, on board. He is dead. Uh, after he left the company, but I think that one was a car accident, so... Oh. Can't blame anyone for an accident. Sure, his vision was probably impaired from... <laughs> from all the <laughs> steroid <laughs> abuse yeah. that, that, that the couple looked the other way at. Well, it would be nice to get a uh, a little sex appeal through uh, Miss Elizabeth, maybe. Right. Well, Miss Elizabeth is dead. 
She died. What'd she die? She died. Uh, I, I think it was one of those uh, pill alcohol combinations. Hawk from Legion of Doom? Is also dead. How about Hercules? Dead. Hmm. Jesus, really? <laughs> wow, I'm the trying fuck? to... You, th you think the company knows when these wrestlers are going to die and they, they fire them? Because <laughs> they don't, want them, they don't <laughs> want them dying as employees? It's long after. Crush from Demolition? Oh, Crush. Is, Crush. Uh, Crush is dead. Oh, shit. Fuck. He passed away in his 40s. Wow. Man, um, your streak is still alive. You're pretty mm, good here. Damn. <laughs> Just come uh, up with one wrestler that might be alive. I can't really think of any more that could probably help. You know, they do offer rehab for free to any wrestler who's with the company or has... E okay. Who has ever been with the company. Quitters. Renegade? <laughs> he's not... He was never in WWE, but he's dead. Oh. Mm. He was in WCW, so... Oh, oh, that's different then. Exactly. That I can't, you know. What about um, Adrian Adonis? He's no longer with us. What? He's how 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 old was he when he died? I'm not positive, but I would guess uh, late forties. Huh. Huh. Are they all dead? <laughs> oh my god, look at this list of oh dead my god. wrestlers. Are yeah. you fucking kidding Test, me? Test is dead? Test died, yeah. When did that happen? Uh, I think a year or two ago. He How was, did he die? He was 33. Yeah, he took a bunch of pills. And it was too many. Oh. But he, was, he wasn't with the company at the time. Well, at least you could get Adrian Adonis there. And no, 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 no. We already said him. He, he's dead. And he was 34. Oh. Really, that was younger than I thought. But he wasn't with the company. Ah, oh. ah. Uh, uh, Look at all these fucking guys. It's like man. a plane crash victims list. It's <laughs> it unbelievable. Really it's... Oh, God. I mean, a lot of wrestlers have passed away. Yeah, they, they certainly have. Boss uh, man. We, God, big boss yes. man at 42. Yeah. yeah. Mike Awesome at 42. How about Dino Bravo? He... He died, but it was a murder gangland style. Jesus. So I don't know what he was involved Kurt in. Kurt Henning, 44. That's Mr. Perfect. Right. When did Dino yeah. Bravo die? Uh, Andre that was a while Giant, back. 46. I think uh, Hawk is dead. Been 10 years at ago. 46. Hawk. Gone. And these Ooh. are only the highlighted wrestlers. There's a whole bunch of wrestlers that died. We don't know their... We, don't, we just don't know much about them. Dr. Death recently passed away. Steve Williams. The Angel of Death is Steve dead. Steve Williams... Haystacks Calhoun? Yeah, he's no longer with us. He was an older guy, but... 55! Well, he was also That's overweight. That's not an older guy. Well, I mean, look at the list. <laughs> yeah, compared to the list. Now we're getting into old age. Old the age. 50s for wrestlers. Oh, my God, 60. It's 61. Some of these guys made it to 60? God bless. Fucking... Stan the Man Stasiak made it to 60. Geriatrics. Mm -hmm. Dino Bravo. I remember him when I was a kid. Yeah. I think he was doing drugs or something? I don't know. It I would. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, there's, shocking. There's some roids. Yeah, it's it's got to be the roids. Here's the last uh, clip from Linda McMahon on Nightline. It has a, uh, a a rating for a younger audience now. Did that have anything to do with your political ambitions? My political ambitions had nothing to do with that. The the evolution of moving to PG was already underway before I even thought about it. Really? I entering the political. And why? Because, as I said, it's good business. Now, because Bill, the audience has wanted that? Or you, you Bill, let's, let's take a look at what we're talking about today. We're talking about my running for the United States Senate. We can talk about WWE until tomorrow, oh. but I think the people of our state, oh, and what I deflection. hear when I'm around in our state, is not, they're not concerned about soap opera storylines. They are concerned oh, about nice. the issues of the day. They're concerned about the debt, the economy of the country, the jobs that they've lost. Man, she is smooth, huh? She was able to just go... Deflect, look, deflect, deflect. You know, if you want to talk about WWE... Tell the guys <laughs> talking about this asshole. I know, it's yeah. true. Let go! <laughs> we know what she does! It's fake. It was an act. Huh? I don't think she fucking was like, yeah, my daughter's a slut. It's great <laughs> when they chant slut, slut, slut when she walks out. You think they really chained her to the fucking boiler room? The Undertaker kidnapped her. The Undertaker kidnapped her. And, and they couldn't and find her because she was in the basement of the arena. Yeah, <laughs> but the cameraman knew where she was. Thank God, because otherwise it wouldn't have been televised. Yeah. Why wouldn't the cameraman tell Vince, who runs the company? I what, guess he was... What? Guess what? We found your daughter. Maybe Why, he was yeah, in cahoots yeah. with the Ministry of Darkness. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why doesn't she bring up the fact, you know, could you please not 
talk about this. It, it makes me feel bad just thinking about my husband blowing up in a limousine. <laughs> right. I thought he was dead. Thank God I found out he was yeah. just faking it to see if the fans still loved him. And then she could just lean over and go, get what I'm getting at here, <laughs> dummy. Did anybody really believe that he was dead? I thought he was, but... <laughs> yes. I don't know. I guess I might have been the only one. Well, they brought the FBI in on no, it no, 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 no. for a day it wasn't. until the FBI <laughs> said, stop using our fucking... Uh, Initials. Then it was the FIC. Yeah. What was it called? The Federal <laughs> Investigative Council, something like that. I don't remember. Committee, maybe. Yeah. All, were they all big investigators? Oh, they were all yeah. giant investigators, squeezed into suits <laughs> with gigantic shoulders. <laughs> so Dina Bravo was shot by the mafia. He has gangland style. Damn. What happened? What was the deal with him? What was I, he doing? I don't know. He was out of. He wasn't uh, playing ball. He's out of the business. He wasn't playing ball. Let me say hi to Walter in Connecticut. You know more on Dino Bravo's death? Yeah, he was uh, he got involved with the uh, cigarette trade, like underground cigarette trading or something like that. And uh, the Canadian mafia, they got him in his house. They shot him like sixteen times in the face. Where did he live? Wow, Jesus, really? The yeah, Canadian Montreal mafia. or something? The Canadian yeah, mafia? Yeah, really? Canadian mafia. He was uh, one of those. Years old. Isaac. What's that, sir? Yeah, he was forty-four <laughs> years old, and um, he knew they were coming after him, and he was all paranoid about it. Locked himself in his house, but somehow they got him. I mean, they, they shot him like 16 times in the face. What? What? what how? Do you mean somehow they got him? There's yes. a mafia. Yeah. They went into his house. Oh, yeah. 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 They I mean, got they, in. They got him. Boy, he's in his house somewhere. Oh, well, I guess we better go home. <laughs> <laughs> Had he been stealing money from them or something? I, I don't know. He got involved somehow with uh, underground cigarettes, uh, you know, trading or whatever it was. He was stealing. Oh. And um, he just got involved with some bad shit. That's all. God. I think the cigarette uh, real industry. quick. Yeah. Two things. Uh, two birthdays today. Joe Rogan and uh, Hulk Hogan. So they yeah. shot him. Hulk, they shot him how many times, sir? Uh, about sixteen. In the face. Yep. All right. He was forty-four years old. His real name was uh, Bresciano. Was thought to have been shot up to seven times with two shots to the head <laughs> <laughs> by a gunman while watching hockey in his vehement uh, Quebec apartment. To widely believe that his alleged role in his illegal, uh, illegal cigarette smuggling in Canada led to his murder. <laughs> a little uh, exaggeration there, my friend. Well, I'm not exaggerating. I'm only going by what, I, what I've heard. Oh, well, okay. you heard wrong. Okay. There's, I've heard wrong, but, you know, whatever. Varying reports. And, yeah, happy birthday to Joe Rogan, 43 today, and uh, uh, Hulk Hogan, 57. He's on he's seven. Gonna, he's he's going to make it to 60, guys, and he's not in the company either. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah Hulk Hogan is struggling. He's 50, Hulk? 57. Oh. How he many should nine? have been able to retire by now. He's in okay. TNA. He just went blow for blow with Kevin Nash on last week's episode. He's almost 60 oh. and he's still doing that? <laughs> he has to deal with Stop this it. shit. He did. They were going blow for blow. Kevin Nash tried to land a couple Fuck. right hands but couldn't keep up with the Hulkster. Couldn't keep up with the Have you seen Hulk walk? He can't even walk into the uh, ring anymore. It is difficult. You see the Hulk he's gone. The oh. poor guy, man. He shouldn't have to be dealing with that shit at 57. His dumb wife. He joined Twitter. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Fuck uh, him, he wouldn't come on the show. What's he gonna fucking tweet? He said brother a whole bunch already. I bet. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. Rena Center. <laughs> <laughs> oh. doing commercials in TNA. Oh, Let's terrible. go to Danny in Staten Island. He's got something about wrestling. Danny? Hey, what's up, boy? Hey, man. Hello. All right, uh, me and my buddies, every Sunday, we get a different wrestling DVD. And the rule is you got to drink when there's a dead guy on. So we always oh. get shit faced. <laughs> yeah, see, Sam. Yeah, I mean, especially some of the tapes from the '90s or whatever. You're gonna run into a lot of a lot of them, a lot of drinking. But I don't think that's healthy lifestyle either. What about um, Mr. Fuji? Mr. Fuji's still alive. I met him at a convention. He's not doing well. Yeah, what do you oh, mean he's, he's not, not doing, doing well? Well, first of all, his job right now, since he's out of show business, is that he rips tickets in a movie theater. In Tennessee. <laughs> and he's wheelchair bound. Oh, God. Just, oh, it's horrible. Why can't they do the right thing? And he's got shaky, some kind of pension for these fuckers. He's got very shaky hands when he signs things. You All think these people guys recognize just hold the tickets and they tear. I think yeah. they do. It's embarrassing. It must be horribly embarrassing. Although I'm not sure if he has all his facilities about him anymore, so maybe he's not they embarrassed rip anymore. Tickets? He does. He used to manage the powers of pain. Now he has a lot of yeah. pain in his now, Oh, Yeah, now he just rips tickets. 
All right, well, damn, that's good for Linda tragic. McMahon. She's got a good shot at uh, making it to the Senate. Oh, geez. she's going to win. She's going to win in the end. Yeah. There's the Hulkster staring down Kevin Nash. Oh. How old's Kevin Nash? 50? Yeah. Why does anybody care about these two? So let me get this straight. So... <laughs> Because I've been out of the loop for sure, a while. Sure, yeah, yeah. So basically, TNA Wrestling is WCW in 1998. Exactly. That's awesome. See Eric Bischoff and... Yeah. It's very small Bischoff. sting and Jeff Jarrett are there. Oh, wow. So yeah. it's all these old guys. Right. They got Hulk Hogan to save the company. And so Hulk Hogan's idea was to hire all the guys that he worked with like 10 years ago and oh. make them the top guys. What a dope. That works well. <laughs> is anybody watching this horse shit? I check it out from time to time. It's a small crowd, though. Look at how small that room is. They record in a... They do all their TV and most of their pay-per-views in a TV studio in Orlando. Oh, so it's not arenas or anything. It's... No, yeah. They do it at the, uh, in the Impact Zone in Orlando. How big do you think the crowd is? It's probably 1,200 people. <clears throat> oh, Hulk has man. really fallen, huh? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Can we see some video of Hulk now in TNA? I, I would, would love to just see him. He's still in him shape. Just yeah, being for, for his mess. age and all that. But he, he shouldn't have to be doing this. No. And his knees That are wife gone. of his. His knees are gone. He's still yelling. Yeah. I'm going to out-wrestle you. Let me tell you something. What are you telling me? Kevin Nash had to just kind of like act like he was dazed after the first hit because obviously he could have just hit Hogan back because <laughs> it wasn't like <laughs> rapid fire. Isn't he, he is, extra dazed? Is oh, Rick, that was oh, that was the Hulk. Yeah, Ric Flair's back to wrestling. Ric Flair's TNA. wrestling. He was yeah. <laughs> Did he retire? Yeah, he had the greatest wrestling retirement ever, and then a year later, he's back to wrestling. Oh, Hulk's bandana fell off his head. Uh oh, the lights went out in the middle that's of a great that's match. That's something. I hate when that happens. How do people have control of the lights, like the wrestlers? Yeah, I've always and the music too. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Like, if it's a surprise. And what are they all cheering for? Is think... an old guy coming? Oh, man. Sting, oh, Hulk shit. Hogan, and Ric Flair. Oh, wow. This is huge. It's not huge. No, it's the Stinger. There's a sign that says, this is awesome. <laughs> and so Why is Ben Probably... Franklin on the floor of the wrestling ring? No, that's <laughs> Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. without his bandana on his head. <laughs> Rocking the red and yellow. <laughs> kind of trying to get back up. Uh-oh. Oh, I hope you can see him attempt his big boot. Things got um. Who Hulk's big boot? Yeah, he oh, can't. Oh no, is he gonna try to do the the leg? Go oh, oh, Hulk's ripping what? his shirt off. Sting just turned on Hulk Hogan. And oh no! A Wait a minute. But he's supposed to be on the same side with him. Is that Ric Flair just jumped out of the ring? That's Ric Flair. Yeah, Ric Flair's tits are giant. <laughs> and Ric tits. Flair's had a bunch of matches. Are like wrestling on TV. Oh, God he wrestled bless on TV him. last week. Supposedly he still bloodies himself up and everything. Yeah, he blades he's all, all the time. In. It's called blading. Yeah. Oh, this is fucking horrendous. Ric Flair. Oh, the chair. Has giant tits. Wow, well, he's an How come the referee gentleman. is just standing back waving people off? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Stop it. There's a chair oh. in the ring. Oh, we were people getting hit with chairs. Oh, no. Not, oh, no. not on the Hulk. Not Hulk. You'll hurt him. Leaving that back open. Oh, Hulk. What's the ref? Oh, right oh, on that's it. Oh, what's head. he doing with his hand? Oh, he's getting a razor blade oh, yeah, out of his wrist. He's cutting himself. He's fucking cutting himself. Oh, yeah. He's got to like, cut his head. Do you see him oh, reach for his other fuck. wrist? If there you see a wrestler reach for his opposite wrist. Is Mick Foley part of this? Yes, he is. He was, uh, Can we go rescue him before he... I don't know what he's doing over there. Oh, they took him off TV for the most part. carving himself up right there. He's just oh, carving no, himself. I think it might have been the chair shot that did that. <laughs> Why is there a referee? I love how there's a referee and he just waves everybody off from the other side. Wait, is Hulk Hogan's daughter ringside? Yeah, because his family didn't want him to get back in the ring. Uh, well, I think they were right. Oh, Ew. no. She she's looks a concerned. terrible actress. <laughs> she's, she's trying to look concerned. <laughs> uh. His family said, Hogan, you can't do this anymore. Dad. Oh, look, he's bleeding See, from self-inflicted cuts. This is what they were afraid of. Is it? That Hulk, he's busted wide open. He looks like a sad old man. He is. It's, it's his really daughter's acting. His daughter's acting is so bad. She was trying to look concerned. And that? Taz is doing the play-by-play. -play. Oh, yeah. Is Taz, Taz is a great play-by-play. -play he's guy. awesome. He's a good radio host, too. A what? great play-by-play -play guy would be just going, this is shit. This is fake. This as far as, is stupid. As far as, as that position goes, Taz always Taz did well. Good. 
And he's a friend of the show. So All the old O and A friends are getting lost. I don't in feel like TNA. beating up every fucking person that's been on our radio show. I like Taz. Taz. Has always been good to us. Taz is a very nice guy. Very nice guy. Does However, a, does a pretty good radio <laughs> show. And as far as <laughs> being a commentary for wrestling matches, he was good. He is. But he, what he really should be saying is. This is terrible. Did Hulk later take uh, some of the blood from his head and rub it into his daughter's ass? I heard he did <laughs> I don't that. Know. Like That's it was true. like it was some suntan lotion. <laughs> I don't know. And why is uh, Stephanie McMahon now with? with no, that's not Stephanie McMahon. That's like Dixie her. Carter, the owner of TNA. Oh, now they're showing Linda McMahon in a small little window, oh. live talking, and the giant rest of the screen is her kicking that gentleman in the JR. balls. JR. Oh, the balls JR over kicking over JR on the balls. Poor JR. He has really looked like a fool throughout this whole All thing. Right. <laughs> we got a big Ric Flair fan on the line here. Oh, really? Mark in California. Mark. <laughs> hey, guys. Good morning. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Thanks, Mark. Oh. Listen, if you guys want to see something hilarious, Flair comes out for his match that night in a, in a suit, tie the whole nine and then he gets stripped and you see him wearing these little chonies that are like multicolored, like the grossest thing it's the worst thing you've ever seen in your life rick flair's whole gimmick is that he like while he's doing his promos if it's a really intense promo he'll go so over the top that he'll start stripping his clothes off <laughs> and then he starts dropping knees and elbows on his suit jacket and they blurred out his ass during the show. <laughs> he just gets, he strips down. He has in the past is gone in the ring, stripped down to his underwear, and then started performing moves on his pants. Is he still <laughs> mad at us? I'm assuming. Oh, I'm sure Why would he be mad at us? Because you made E Rock and me. E Rock and I pretended to be Opie and Anthony. So he got well, his plug out. I did bad Don Imus impressions. Do an Imus impression? <laughs> um, you're, you're, you're a jerk. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah. He hates us. Rick hates us. And my Ronald Reagan, too. All oh, right. Go to Reagan. Well. <laughs> that was a he great just says well. <laughs> that was a great day, man. Yeah, Rick Flair was I, none I didn't too happy. That. I really didn't want to do mocked. that. My favorite No, I didn't want to do that my to Rick Flair. My favorite was when we did that to the uh the, the the guy with the dumb catch. David Tyree? Yeah. I like doing that one. <laughs> you fucking, did he you get think, it? That's, you think, no, you that's think when he, I asked him if his favorite <laughs> football player was Jerry Dice. <laughs> Instead of Jerry Rice, <laughs> and started doing Andrew Dice Clay. Oh, impression. right. You were doing the Dice <laughs> right, impression. Right to his face. <laughs> no one gave a shit about <laughs> a stupid <laughs> book. <laughs> they cared about the catch, but not a, a whole book about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, how could you write a whole book about a catch? And even the Giants didn't care. They released him, what, the next year? Guy like that, you let play an extra year or I two. Agree. Ric Flair is going to have. A, a massive stroke. He's got to in the ring. It, you just see him yelling, and the veins are. That, that's a bad audio He's... clip. Let's go to uh, Bruce in Louisiana. Bruce. <sighs> yeah, when uh, TNA first started, they had a six-sided ring. Then they hired all these old guys, went to a four-sided ring, and one of the first things they did is built almost like a wheelchair ramp from the. <laughs> ring up to the ramp so the old guys don't have to actually climb into the ring they can half-ass run out and just go under the ropes and it ramps all the way from the left straight up into the ring oh they don't have to climb up into the into no the, oh okay that's, uh, that's smart nice. it's the greatest thing in the world because tna used to be like a lot of young guys and had a six-sided ring and doing weird stuff and then hulk hogan came in and said we're going to do different stuff. We're not going to be like Vince in the WWE. So he immediately, his idea of changing the business was to go back to a four-sided ring and to hire all the old guys from WCW. <laughs> Very different. Yes. Is it doing oh. better now or no? It's not. <laughs> all right. Was Rick it doing Flair's... better before? It's, Wait, it's, uh, okay. They paid a yeah. whole bunch of money for Hulk Hogan, and they're in about the exact same spot that they were in. Oh, Just a bunch boy. of people from Florida who won't give up on TNA. What a wreck. Uh, all right, and finally, Andy in Boston. Andy. Yo, what's going on, fellas? Hey. Long time listener. Uh, hey, uh, Sam, I got two questions for you. Um, mm -hmm. Ultimate Warrior, is, is he dead? Alive. He's not dead. A lot of people think he's dead and that there was a second Ultimate Warrior. That's not the case. They hate him? Everyone hates him? Every, every, yeah, the Ultimate Warrior, is. they made a whole DVD about how bad he was. <laughs> Was he a bad wrestler or a bad guy? He was a bad wrestler and a bad guy. Hey, I'm getting something on Twitter. Uh, for the best thing ever in TNA, look up Scott Steiner, best promo ever. With oh, yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> is it good? Why is that good? <laughs> it's great. It says, with subtitles. You need the subtitles. <laughs> Why is that great? Well, Scott Steiner... Thanks, uh, Andy. 
he sometimes gets ahead of himself. He just starts shouting. <laughs> What a bunch of buffoons. They're calling this the best promo ever? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's Scott Steiner, the first one, isn't it? Yeah, but it's not TNA. Is Mean Gene in TNA? No, that's that's an old Nitro Club. Try this one. This is TNA. Oh. Scott Steiner, it's going to be a three way for the TNA heavyweight title at Sacrifice between you, Kurt Angle, and Samoa Joe. Now, before you get there, you oh, have an important acting. step tonight as you <laughs> and X Division <laughs> champion Petey Williams take on the unlikely duo of Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. You know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at Samoa Joe, and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally if you go one on one with another wrestler, you got a 50 50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beating me. And then you add Kurt Angle to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. So the three-way at sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me, and he's not even going to try. So Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25% chance, and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of winning. For chance. Go one on one, and then add 66 and two thirds percent. I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. See, McJoe, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. See, but I'm gonna break it down for you, baby. Would you rather be with me, or would you rather be with Joe? Well, I think Joe's kind of nice. I mean, you know. See, you're one of those girls that like romance. I'm going to talk to all my freaks out there. Would you rather come home to me, a genetic freak, to be satisfied every night, or go home to that fat-ass small Joe? Wow. See, tonight, we're going to win, and I'm going to be the world champion at sacrifice. Come on, P. Hey, let's go. Scotty, just like you always say, Big Papa Pump has got your hookup. Well, Maple Leaf Muscle is who you need to look up. Holler if you hear that. What? Nice. Who won They're that match? They're both retarded. I don't know that match specifically, but he didn't go on to win the world title. Oh, no. but he had a percentage. I know. Thing. It was like the... over 100%. Can, can I look at best promo ever? Maybe the guy just had the company wrong, because now I'm, I'm curious why they would label it best promo ever. Scott Steiner has a lot of flubs. How old is that promo? Uh, It's probably oh, two, oh, that was two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Scott years Steiner? Old. Yeah, Big Papa Pump. He's your hookup. Holler if you hear me. World Heavyweight Title, and I know for a fact you're not going to lay down for this guy. That's right, Mean Gene. I don't lay down for nobody. And whether I leave here a world champion tonight, it don't matter because it's not going to change my focus on getting even with Goldberg for fracture in my face. And a far ball, Goldberg, I'm going to get even for you for fracture in my face. And I'm going to prove to you that I'm the man with the largest arms in the world. I'm the genetic freak in size. It does matter, but that statement, Mean Jeans, comes true whether I'm in the ring <laughs> or out of the ring. Great. See, when I have my freaks horizontal, they understand size, they appreciate size, and size does matter. And they know that they don't have to wait for the Earth to rotate on a 47-degree axis so the stars can touch the sky and create an equal axis so they can the see face. the big difference. No, no, he no, no. A lot. All <laughs> they got to do is call me Papa. Because I'm the man with the big dipper and satisfaction's coming when I go behind oh, yeah. and do the thump and grind. And it's only a matter of time because they call me the big bad booty daddy. So go <laughs> for it. Realize daddy. this. I only care about two things in this world. My freaks and my peaks. And when I beat your bald ass down at Fall Brawl. He is so roided out. <laughs> he is so roided out, this guy. Yeah. Eric and me. That's uh, big pop a pump. Eric and me met Mean Gene when we went to Orlando for WrestleMania, and they had like a... Was, was uh, that with the Meat uh, Martinis? That was the same event, yeah. Same event uh, with <laughs> the with Meat the, Martinis. Don't forget, E-Rock. e -Rock loved the Didn't Meat Martinis. Didn't he have martinis. two of them? I ate at least two. I think he had three or four. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, there was some, like, radio people party that they had some of the guys go to, and Mean Gene was there. And he ended up just getting hammered and hitting on every girl in radio. Really? <laughs> all these fat girls are getting hit on by Mean Gene. <laughs> <laughs> He's drunk off his ass. Is he still with Vince's organization? No. Uh, 
No, he does maybe like, behind the scenes. But. Yeah, he comes in and does little special things. He doesn't uh, like stuff for their on-demand network or something. How much bad breath he must have smelled? <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> wow! As they're just yelling into his <laughs> angry face. with the fucking <laughs> spittle breath, yes. Roy breath, dry Roy breath, <laughs> Roy dry breath. Dry Roy breath. <laughs> he probably got a lot of spit on him too. Oof. Lots of spittle. How old? Think he's rich? Mean Gene. He's no. probably not rich. He's probably fine. He's I'd comfortable. say they paid him just enough. Really? Yeah, I mean, he's not a... He's, yeah. yeah, he never made yeah. a million bucks a year. No. Fuck, he's a legend. Man. I know he is. What did he used to do? I don't well, know. he's doing a... He's doing, he can't be a millionaire because he's doing a convention in at the end of September in somewhere in Jersey in a cafeteria. <laughs> oh, Come on, you're telling me that guy isn't roided out? Big Papa Pump. Uh, look at his bicep. There's an aorta running through it. <laughs> All he cares is about is fucking tunnel. His freaks and peaks. Freaks and peaks. Right. Right. Mm. <sighs> he works out. Steve. <laughs> Who's that guy? Someone... That's his brother, Rick Steiner. Oh. All right, right, right. Uh, someone's saying you got to look up the promo where he talks about Nagasaki and Hiroshima. <laughs> oh, yeah, in, in a promo. That one. <laughs> Why is that one good? He's talking about Hiroshima. What does he know about? He doesn't it? know what he's talking. He's obviously a buffoon. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so you talk about numbers for 10 minutes a minute oh, ago? Oh, it was great. I was trying to do the math along with him. Does he still <laughs> wrestle? Very difficult. Um, not at the moment, but... Uh, Why? What happened? Once uh, He's cycling out right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got to, you got to cycle or your balls dry up. <laughs> right. He was uh, phased out <laughs> in the Hulk Hogan regime of TNA. Ah. Uh, mm. Well, sorry to see him go. I want to yeah. see the Hulk. I want to see Hulk a maniac doing a, a promo. The new Hulk, fifty-seven-year-old Hulk. Does he still do them every week on Impact? I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah, he runs TNA and he runs it with an iron fist. Does he? Oh, he lets people know that you, he is not the type of boss that you're going to push around. Oh yeah, like in his marriage, <laughs> <laughs> as he's passing by his house crying. Yeah, he runs out with an iron checkbook. <laughs> Oh, this is good. This is him inspiring. He sees Abyss as the next big thing, so he's inspiring. Where can you find ingredients? Well, that's a McDonald's <laughs> commercial. Doesn't sound like Hulk. No, mm -hmm. I don't call it McDonald's. I have another word for it. I have a feeling that the Donald's part is there, but the first yeah. couple letters are different. Yeah, it's just my observation. That's all. <laughs> All right, Hulk Hogan. That's Abyss. That's McFoley. I know he looks like McFoley, but it's Abyss. Try to do what he told me to do. McFoley's got to be pissed. Hmm? Foley's fucking pissed. Yeah, they did a thing with him and McFoley once. McFoley got the TNA. Not now, Eric. Get out. <laughs> oh man, get that clip. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's nightmare Hulk Hogan yelling at him. I am so sick and tired of watching you chase your tail. I am so sick and tired of watching you be afraid of your own shadow. Right now, it stops, it's over, it's a done deal. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, brother, let me explain it so you can understand it. <laughs> you know who Superman is? Yes, sir. Well, he's got a cape. Yes. Makes him real powerful. Do you know who Popeye what? is? Yes. Well, he's got that, yeah, the can of spinach. Makes him real, real strong. I gotta ask you a question. Are you really a monster? Yes, sir, I am a monster. No, are you a monster? Yes, sir, I am a monster. Well, you're not as big of a monster as I am, brother, because the monster that I am is called Hulkamania. Yes, it's sir. bigger than you can ever be. It's bigger than you understand that. Yes, sir, I do. It all stops now. Oh, my. You will never cower again. You will never shake. You will never back up, brother. Look at this. Do you know what this is? Oh. <gasps> is that what I think? Yeah, do you know what this is? This is Hulk Hogan's Hall of Fame ring, brother. This is my life. Everything. Yeah, this is everything. This is the only thing that and my wife didn't me. get. <laughs> this is the only thing that ever loved me. I destroyed my body for 30 years, selling out every huge venue in the world to earn this ring. Yeah. I am extensions. so crippled up, I can barely get out of the bed yeah, in the morning. Do you understand that this is my life? Yes, sir. I this understand. is my life. I understand, Hulk. You understand? Yes, sir. I do. It's everything. It encompasses Hulkamania and the world. 
I understand. It. Put your hand out. <gasps> One ring. Put your hand out. Rule them all. Yeah. <gasps> this is yours. What? <laughs> What's this guy's fucking gimmick? He's a monster, except he became insecure for a time. The power of the universe. <laughs> this will make you the strongest mortal man on this earth. Oh, really? This will be good to you. Yes, it makes you need a good lawyer, you. pussy whipped. This will love you. This will You're gonna rub a into your daughter's crack. <laughs> will make you the god of wrestling. You will be, from this point forward, ten times a man, ten times a wrestler, Ten times stronger than Hulk Hogan ever was. Yes, sir. Can we pause that this? Sam, Sam needs more yes, bagel bites. That is your mission. Hang on. Yes, sir. You <laughs> will become <laughs> the god of men. The man oh. that I could never be. You will be greater than anything that's ever walked yes, in the ring. Yes, sir. That is your destiny. Yes, sir. Do you feel the power? I feel it, Hulk. I feel it. I feel it. I it's amazing how much these guys can yell. Let you down, Hulk. Yeah. Is it like Gollum with the ring now? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? He just puts the ring on him. Freaks out. This ring. It's Hulk's cock ring. For every Hulk After the steroids, it's just as big as your finger. <laughs> Hulkamania. Now it stands for the monster abyss. <laughs> He's just talking to himself, by the way. So, what is inner he dialogue? doing? I, I don't get that. And what's embarrassed. Even, what's, oh, I'm so embarrassed. Are you embarrassed? Yes, yeah. it's, it's terrible. Even from a whole different perspective, what's great about that whole angle is that that's a WWE Hall of Fame ring. Yeah. So this whole bit that they're doing... All it's doing is pointing out that the WWE is the greatest place ever and TNA is small potatoes. Right, because that's the most powerful ring ever. Right. What a great screamer Hulk Hogan is, though. His fucking pipes are amazing. <laughs> Dude, if I, if I do fucking Ted for too long, it hurts. That fucking guy just screamed for eight minutes. <laughs> that's the power of Hulkamania. Ah, that is. Boy, Hulkamania. What been talking about. Is running, uh... Is that Mean Gene? Wild. No, that's Tony Schiavone. Someone is saying, uh, play the clip where McFoley calls out the abyss. It, it was totally real. McFoley can't be allowing that to happen. Well, there was a, they did a. That's, that's McFoley. They did a, a, a gimmick where it was. That was mankind. McFoley and abyss, like, feuding. Right. And McFoley did a couple promos where he kind of really went after him for completely ripping off his gimmick. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's his fucking thing, man. Can we see that? Because I never saw McFoley do promo. I only know him from here. McFoley, he's, he's, McFoley was great. He's a good promo guy. Is he? I never saw yeah. him wrestle. Does your ride Another come with commercials? Doesn't sound like me fully. <laughs> Fucking commercials. Commercials on the, on the internet. internet. Oh, on the inner tubes. I guess it beats us having to pay for shit, but uh, yeah. Fuck. Well, you know, off. <laughs> yeah, Takes forever. Know. What are you gonna, you know? Ah, uh, well, you. Anyway. Why don't well, you write one... something with my dry pen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take your dry pen. <laughs> Can you try Silas? Ugh. <laughs> Is it because you don't just don't like it getting greasy? I don't know. We should drag this pen through the fucking gulf, soak up all the oil. <laughs> the doctors have said that I cannot compete tonight. It's a bass again. Yeah. But I need answers. Mick Foley. I need answers. You owe me that, Nick. I hate you this guy. You owe me. Yeah, he's answers! corny. Yeah, he sucks. Yeah, he's really corny and just stupid. He's like one of five guys that actually came from TNA, not from another place. Yeah, they all stink. We want answers. We want answers. Oh, so no. Mick. Yeah. What? Is he there? That's Mick Rumbley's music. Wow. I wouldn't know that because I don't it? do this. <laughs> I have no idea. We got to get special ops to fucking rescue him. <laughs> there he is. He's a good fucking friend of the show. He doesn't need to be putting up with this shit. For an explanation from the man that he idolized. Why is he going in as good legend? love? No, he's just wearing a dude's shirt. He's got a barbed wire back. It's not a dude love move. Attack the no. bitch with a little curious also why security is towing behind Mick Foley. 
think of the divergent message because it's in the script. Is sending. I don't he think signed I don't on know. his shirt, no. barbed wire baseball bat in his hand. It's true. Oh, give him a mic already. Hold on there, Bist. Did I, uh, I just hear you saying that I, I, I owed you, you who've taken so much from me oh. in terms of your career and your look and your persona, you feel like I owe you. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What exactly do I, do I owe you for, Chris? Do I owe you for the 24 plus years of blood, sweat, and tears that I've dedicated to this business? A small crowd. Oh, I know. <laughs> Do I owe you for paving the way for guys like you to make a living? Do I owe you for the, the uh, flannel shirt I presented then. so you could carry on my Oh no, was that an applause break yeah, tradition? Yeah. Can we rewind that a little bit? That never happened. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry, well, there's Chris, not a lot of people. Oh no, yeah. the applause didn't come. Yeah. I mean, it, it probably would have been there in the garden. Do I owe you for paving the way for guys like you to make a living? Do I oh. owe you for the, the <laughs> so shirt small that room. I presented I'll wait. so no, you can carry on my hardcore tradition? No, no, I'm sorry, Chris. As far as me owing you, that's just not going to happen. Mick. Yeah. Yeah. I want to make one thing clear. Yeah. All I was trying to do was save you against Kevin. I didn't know what he was going to do to you. I came to the ring to save you. I think one guy is better than the other. This is such and as far tight. As far Mick's hair as the tweet and tweet is not good. <laughs> <Yeah. on goes. laughs> that Mick. That was an accident. I went into your office, Mick, to get the barbed wire back to help save you. Does does Mick hit him eventually? And I accidentally. This, I don't know that. this is a really long clip. Yeah, it's, it's fucking it's endless. Takes forever. That fucking. We get that's it. not moving too quickly. No, it's ten minutes long. No, that's a ten, fuck that. Do you think they know when it's bombing? Oh, yeah, oh yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, they when do. they look out at the crowd and there's no one there. They know it's bombing when they pull up to the arena. Do you think this is bombing? Uh, yes. <laughs> is it really? Is this, this is, is this, horribly is this bombing. Copy? You're a cheap, low-rate Mick Foley wannabe! <laughs> a wannabe, Chris! A wannabe! Oh! oh. 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 Mick okay. broke the picture of his head. That was no peace offering. Ah, wow. Good. Good. Excellent. Like today. Well, Mike, I'll tell you, I get the feeling TNA is about to experience a Mick Foley this company has yet to see. Oh, really? It's Taz. This company. And as yeah. Foley goes to leave the impact zone with his security crew, here comes the oh, monster. Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Whoa. Oh, he's taking out the security. Oh, oh, oh. shoot. Well, since when does Mick Foley need security anyway? Yeah, exactly. Mick Foley okay. using Slam. that security as a shield to escape. But security's oh not going to oh escape. Oh. Oh. Ow, that has to hurt. Oh, and I was running after Mick. Why is Mick running away? Well, that's why that was that, that gimmick oh, thing. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that didn't bomb, because now they're booing Mick Foley. So he's successfully... Made a heel turn just then. Is that what that was a heel turn? That's what that was. But how do you become a good guy again? Baby face. <laughs> baby face. That's called baby, baby yeah. face. He is yeah. a good guy. Baby face. How do you do that again? If you become, if you become a face, he would have to... You could do it overnight. You yeah. just gotta do something that For people instance, go, yay. He could fight Abyss, right? And then Abyss beats him. And then he stands up and shakes his hand and says, you're not a Mick Foley ripoff. That's face turn. Then the crowd loves him. 
That's a face turn. But do they really get mad? Well, they really boom, or they kind of get the gag that they're supposed to boo them. No, well, they don't get anything. Yeah, there's they're a lot, especially since they're all the Florida crowd. wrestling they're fans. They're all retarded in the crowd. <laughs> hey, Schmick ain't doing the right thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you believe what we just saw? Hey, hey, what's the picture? And they analyze it like people analyze sports. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I mean, Mick Foley's good, but he... Mick ran away. Look at him. He's used security guys. He's, uh, he's not the same Mick yeah, he used he to used be. He used to use security guys. Uh, yeah, if you would have told me Mick was using security, I'd probably go, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, wow, that's uh, terrific. Like, All right. Yeah. We should take a break, get into some other things. Certainly. How did this start? Linda McMahon, I guess. Yeah, you're talking about Linda She's McMahon. She's all over TV today. That's it. Winning the, her primary, so... Oh, sorry. We're, we oh wow. Well, yeah. We went a little over over uh, budget on talking about wrestling. I guess. Ah, you, you I think? didn't think so. Ah, well, mm -hmm. well, no. Some people uh, that'll just get bounced uh, for a little while for uh -huh. complaining. I don't like complainers. Me neither. You know, the show is all about just wherever it goes. Yeah, wherever it goes, it goes. It goes. So what? Uh, you uh, you, you a little upset? 